Hello students and welcome to another video lecture on logic design. In this video, we will learn about shift registers. But before we get into that, let me give you a brief introduction to the concept of data. Data is of two types, serial data and parallel data. What is data? In terms of a computer, data is nothing but a collection of bits. In a computer, data is usually organized as 8 bits of data or 16 bits of data or 32 bits of data and so on. Serial data. Data is said to be in serial form when the data bits appear or are made available sequentially, that is one bit at a time. When we talk about data transfer, Serial data transfer is the transmission of data one bit at a time from one device to another. Here is a very nice figure depicting serial data transfer. We can see that the sender simply transfers data to the receiver one bit at a time. Obviously, when data is sent one bit at a time, these data bits will follow a certain order which is dictated by the sender. Therefore, in serial data transfer, data bits will be ordered in the manner in which it was sent. Serial data transfer is said to be the most reliable mode of data transfer because data bits is sent only if the previous data bit is received. Also, Serial data transfer is usually used when data has to be sent over a long distance. Parallel data is quite different in comparison to serial data. Multi-bit data is said to be in parallel form when all the bits are available or accessible at the same time. While talking about data transfer, parallel data transfer is simultaneous transfer of all bits of data from one device to another. This is a very nice figure explaining parallel data transfer. You can clearly see the difference in data transfer as opposed to sending bits one at a time. In parallel data, all the bits are transferred at the same time. Clearly, since all the bits are sent at the same time, Parallel data transfer is much faster than serial data transfer. Also, since multiple bits are sent at the same time, the order in which the bit string is received is not very important. Parallel data transfer also requires more number of transmission lines as compared to serial data transfer. Parallel data transfer is usually preferred when large amounts of data have to be sent or the data is time sensitive and has to be sent very quickly. Let us now study about registers. We have studied about latches and flip-flops previously. In fact, we studied that a flip-flop is the most basic memory element in a sequential circuit. You know that a flip-flop can store only one bit of data. Since it is capable of storing only one bit of data, it is also called as a one-bit register. The term register in a computer is used to denote a space for storing data. You may be familiar with this word since you are studying the concept of computer organization, where you have learned about so many different types of registers. So simply saying that you need to store one bit of data, so you use one flip-flop. But if you need to store four bits of data, then you will use four flip-flops. If you need to store eight bits of data, you would need eight flip-flops. The interconnection of these flip-flops makes it a register. You can have four bit registers, eight bit registers, 16 bit registers, 32-bit registers, 64-bit registers, and so on. Now, if I use a cube 
to denote a single flip-flop. A collection of four cubes will mean that I have myself a four-bit register. Each flip-flop will have its inputs and outputs. If I want to load this register with data, I have to set or reset each individual flip-flop. I can load data into this register serially, that is one bit at a time, starting from the first flip-flop. Or I can load the data simultaneously through all the flip-flops, which is nothing but parallel data transfer. In the same way, this register can also give us some output. In fact, data can be read from the register one bit at a time, that is, as serial output, starting from the last flip-flop. Or it can be read simultaneously from all the flip-flops, making it a parallel output. This process of loading Sorry, this process of loading data into a register and being able to read data from the register in either serial form or parallel form is what forms the concept of a shift register. Since data is capable of moving inside the register, it is given the name shift register. Shift registers are an important digital building block and it is used primarily for storing data but it can be modified to aid in performing operations of complementation, multiplication, division and other important arithmetic operations. That's all for now. Connect to the classroom for another video on shift registers.